Hey everyone, this is our Shopify upgrade series where we recreate features of successful e-commerce brands. And today we're looking at Original Grain. They're an eight-figure brand that makes watches out of reclaimed wood like whiskey barrels and baseball bats. Uh, and here on the product page, you can see that they have this section to pair it with. So not only can you add the primary item, this watch, to your product page, you can quickly add these additional recommended items like the strap and the case directly from the uh, product page. And the best part about this is that Shopify actually already offers this feature, so we don't need to do any custom coding. We've just found that most store owners we've spoken to didn't even know this was an option, so we're here to show it to you today. Now, if the layout or use doesn't quite fit your requirements, or if you're looking to hire us for any other personalized help, then you can book a call with us at theprompted.co. All right, let's add these product upsells to your product page. Okay, so we're on our product page of our demo store, and you can see here we have this section pair as well with, and we've got these different products here. Uh, so we can um, say in this case, we can choose some options. Uh, maybe we want a green, large, and then we can add that to cart. And then it gets added to cart right from the product page here. Um, or if there is only the default variant, so there's no options to choose from, you can just add it directly into cart like that, right? And uh, obviously you can also add your primary product to the cart. So when we look at our cart now, we've got all of these three items added in and we didn't have to navigate off of our product page. So that's what that looks like. Um, and now we can look at how we would add this into your store. Okay, so we'll jump into our theme editor. We're using Dawn version 15, uh, but this feature should be available for the other free Shopify themes like Sense and Origin and Refresh, uh, and also not just version 15, but some of the older versions as well. Uh, and so you can see here on our product template, there's this section called complementary products. Uh, so if we just uh, remove this for a second here, uh, we can add a new block. And then in here, you just select complementary products. And then right away, we have our options available here. Now, if you're just adding this in yourself, you probably won't see anything yet because we have to select which products are being shown with this product. Uh, and to do that, you actually need the search and discovery app. And so that's this app right here. This app is really great. It's a free Shopify app from Shopify itself. It just extends extra features into your Shopify store, especially if you want to add uh, filtering, right? So like collection filtering, uh, or in this case, the product page upsells. Um, so I highly recommend having this app for any one of those features. Uh, and this is one of the ways we can use it. So, um, once you've selected your products, I'll show you how to do that in a second. Then you have these other uh, settings as well. And so we can change the text here. So instead of pair as well with, um, you could say often, often purchased with, for example, right? You can, um, you can make it a collapsible row. Instead of it being just there, you can, you can actually kind of have it open and close with the collapsible row. Uh, you can change the icon, right? So maybe it's, uh, let's maybe make that a lightning bolt. It could be like, hey, these are hot deals. Um, and you can also change how many are showing up on the page. Uh, so in this case, we're saying up to 10 can be shown uh, in groups of three. So we have, uh, say, four right now. So we can change this to, you know, having two pages, or if you want them to all show up on the same page uh, or sheet, however you want to call this, uh, you can show up like that. Um, and then you've got this pagination style, right? So you've got dots, so it can look like this right here, um, or numbers like that. And then you can also change how the image looks. So this is the default look. We can change it to portrait. So you make your images just a little bit taller um, and you can also enable the quick add button, which I think is the best option to use because this is where you can add the products directly into your cart from this page here without having to navigate to the other product. Um, so really recommend to turn that on. Okay, so now that we've done that, we can save. So let's say if you were to go to some other product. So let's go to, let's say this t-shirt here. You're gonna see here, we don't have any uh, upsell items in here. And that's because we haven't defined them yet. 
So in order to do that, we actually have to go into the search and discovery app. Um, and so we can kind of come back out uh, and you can see here that uh, you have all these different options, filters, search. Uh, we're going to go into recommendations and we can, let's say, uh, go to our prompted text t-shirt. Okay, and here this is where we would add our complementary products. So we can, let's say, add our original t-shirt in here. Add, uh, maybe we can add some socks. Um, and let's say the gift wrap again, uh, because we want something that's just the default variant. And then we can just save this. And then once we come back out here and refresh, and once you refresh, you can see that you've got this product showing up in the often purchased with. Now we added three products, but only one is showing up. Uh, and that's because we actually have two of those items already in the cart, right? So um, it's not gonna recommend it if it's already in the cart. So if we actually remove these and then come back, and refresh, you're gonna see here that they now show up. So that's a cool little feature as well. It's smart enough to know what's already in the cart and to only recommend products that you haven't already added. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can add product upsells to your product page. It's really simple. You just need the Shopify search and discovery app to select those products. But that's it for today. It was a bit of a shorter video since we're using pre-built Shopify features. Uh, but let me know in the comments whether or not you like these types of videos where we show some of these lesser known features. Uh, also, don't forget, if you need any personalized help with your Shopify store and are looking to hire us, then reach out to us at theprompted.co slash hire us. But that's it for today, and I'll see you in the next one.